The discovery of antiretroviral therapies transformed the lives of people with HIV. In the 1980s, the virus was seen as a death sentence. Now, despite drawbacks, antiretroviral drugs have changed the way the disease is now viewed. It consists of two drugs. Normally, the, the combinations tend to consist of three drugs. So what this involves is a dose reduction. So cumulative exposure is reduced over a very long life course, fewer drugs in the system. And secondly, it gives the option to have 12 treatment days in a year instead of 365. These drugs don't kill or cure HIV, but each day the patients must take a combination of three drugs to stop the virus replicating. This combination is also good because it has low liability in drug interactions, um, in terms of interactions with other medications. As we grow older and as our patients grow older, um, they develop you know, normal life-related comorbidities, you know, such as high blood pressure, you know, diabetes, you know, abnormal cholesterol. And you know, these drugs don't really interact very much with those drugs, which is great. It can also be taken easily with contraception, which some drugs can't. And in terms of toxicity, some of the toxicities in HIV drugs are related to bone and kidney problems with one of the most commonly used drugs. Um, and there are all alternatives that can avoid this, but this is another option. And I think the important thing is about creating options to try and facilitate lifelong treatment. This discipline can be difficult for people with dementia, drug addicts, or those with mental health issues or with insecure lifestyles, such as the homeless. Most patients can manage with tablets. If they take tablets each day and they take them regularly, they do very well, and for many patients, they, they're, they're fine with that. Uh, they can live normal, healthy lives, uh, and, and many of them do. There's a small number of patients who do struggle with that still, and I think injections once a month will help that group. And we even have patients who have, really can't take tablets at all and have to have tubes placed in their stomach occasionally. Uh, and for those patients, I think this really could be uh, transforming what we can offer them. The trials were led by Queen Mary University of London and the University of Nebraska for VIV Healthcare, a specialist in HIV farming. Annie TV Bharat reports.